Welcome back, Achievers. Why are you so sad? Easy. No, I was trying to go for welcoming. Oh, okay. You know, like okay. that guy, the uh, uh, the, the welcome to your neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's that guy name? Steve Rogers. No. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Steve Rogers? No. No. Steve Rogers, Captain America. <laughs> Sorry. It's something Rogers. Mr. Though. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Thank you. <laughs> we were close. <laughs> yeah. We were close. I knew Rogers, but I was we like, had why Captain is America Steve confused yeah. with the guy who has the sweater on? Yeah. Um, Tom Hanks played. I was movie. trying to be him. Yeah, yeah I want to watch that movie. Yeah, I was too. trying to be like him, like, oh, welcome, and like open the door. Oh yeah, come, come in. Come you in. remember those epic rap battle uh, mo- yeah. uh, movie uh, videos? Yeah, and there's like the I one Miss Rogers and Mr. T. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love those so much. Yeah. I watch them all. Oh yeah, I love, like, yeah. too much. Yeah, I, I, I. They, apparently, there was a lot more mm-hmm. after we stopped watching them. Oh, like, yeah. I need to go back and watch. I them went back. Month ago, maybe. Yeah, and just there's a bunch, binged a bunch of yeah. them, like a psychopath. It was so fun. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, we do a gaming podcast. Oh, yeah, as we welcome, welcome back, yeah. achievers, to your easy achievers gaming podcast, where we discuss the previous week in game. Maybe go over a topic too. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across me, as always, is Alex. Konnichiwa. How are you? We, Good. We just uh, did our E3 2020 reacts yeah. right before this a little upset um, it's but... already live as as of posting you can uh we'll talk about it a little bit in the show but most of that will be on uh available to everyone no yep. uh, not exclusive yep. uh, on Everybody YouTube go podcast to service yeah give it give it the listens all that good stuff um if you like this podcast though for instance you can head over to patreon.com slash cg tv to the bus Give us the buck. Give us the five bucks if you want it early. Helps us out a lot. Keeps Alex's dog fed. Keeps yep. the mics on, the lights on. We need a new computer. It keeps dying. Oh my God, please. Help us. Help us. I have a little money, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I need to save up. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm decent at the saving, but I'm trying mm-hmm. to buy a house. And see, my thing so is, like, the house is, is like, important. Do I, I, like, I want to stick to a laptop because, like, I can move it around. You can move around. But yeah. I feel like I could do more with a desktop. For sure. So it kills me. So, because sure. I'm like, God, which one do I want to use? I'm for sure going to buy a desktop when I have the money. No, yeah, for sure. That's, but, same, I, that's what I, that's what I want to do. Yeah. But you need a laptop, I feel. You're yeah. mobile. Yeah. You're like, uh, Transformers. Yeah, I'm always doing something. Roll it out. <laughs> yep. Speaking of Transformers, we're both wearing a Transformer shirt. Yeah, the exact same shirt. I walked in and he said, hey, and we have the exact same shirt because yeah. we're the same people, apparently. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. If you don't want to give us any money, uh, I guess you're a freeloader, but don't worry, we are too. You can head over to Every Friday is a podcast service of your choosing or YouTube, and you can pay us with your eyeballs and your clicks. You can give us the likes, you can uh, comment, and you can... <coughs> just watch it that helps us a lot you have no idea how much that helps um before we get into the news alex we have a little not a lot today no, not a lot at all not a lot not mm-hmm. a lot at all everyone's canceling things got a coronavirus everyone's freaking out it's mostly that and yep. i'm sure you guys have heard plenty about the coronavirus yep. so we're people are not trying not those. to die oh, yeah we're trying not to contract the illness yep. so instead mm-hmm. of talking about coronavirus right now alex i have a question what is your question what have you been playing Apex, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been a playing lot of fun, a lot though. of Apex because of the new event. A lot of fun, yes. A lot of fun. Not much new to talk about with no. Apex, but I have been enjoying. Yes, Deja Vu. T- yeah, quite Deja a bit. Vu. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what this is, we talked about this thing last week. Real quick, <clears throat> same loot, same spot every game, so everyone knows where the good stuff is. Yep. Every place is super hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 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 space on what you can play on changes changes daily so the yep. ring closes so you want to hit specific spots because you know where the mm-hmm. ring is so fun yeah and the old map is back yeah king's canyon king's canyon i missed it it feels to be it feels good to be back feels the good. artillery man it feels so good yeah artillery skull skull town even skull though we can't really yeah. drop there yet we can probably do it well, I, I thought assume, about doing that today i assume the ring is moved so we yeah, should probably. be able to drop skull town now yeah. more effectively um um yeah but apex has been fun. apex is apex yeah uh moving on i go ahead sorry go i did ahead. try because it got dropped yesterday i did try warzone on call of duty how the, was that i have been watching streams of it mm-hmm. have not had the time to play it yet and so i first started playing uh the first well the first time i tried playing it um it would it just i guess everybody was trying to jump on or not staying on because it the it's 150 people 
right in one thing so when you go into the lobby it's just like imagine like going into call of duty lobby let's say you need like 30 people and it'll be like you know you have 20 something out of 30 it'll say 150 and i had we had like 120 and it's like oh you know you need like 10 more people to start it because you need a certain amount to at least start it but people kept dropping so i was like screw it it won't help so i went to plunder because there's two modes battle royale and then plunder plunder was pretty fun because you just got to get as much money as you can and then there's these little areas helo pads that you can take your money there or uh you can deposit them in some other areas and people if they kill you they take your money so it's interesting but it's like a little stressful too um also and then battle royale when i played that 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 was stressful because there's so many people but i i like it it's just it's, it seems like it's it goes on for far too long <laughs> because there's so many people. So How it's long like, are we talking? Thirty minutes. Apex game generally twenty minutes. Yeah, I feel like it was at least thirty if you stay. If you if, if you if alive. you stay alive, it could be at least thirty. Oof, that's so that's a it's good bit. Yeah, but that's people keep but people hour. drop fast. Right. Not gonna lie, because I I because once you when you die, well the map seems so big. Are you? finding people yes okay. no yeah you are finding the people streams i found they the th- were finding people but it was the thing with slow. i mean it's always been with call of duty you know you're running around a map and it's there's so many corners and buildings and stuff it's kind of hard to see people so that's imagine that in a battle royale with 150 people you're you're like i'm like crouching each corner because i don't know where they're at and as soon as i see somebody i get shot from the back so i'm like well damn mm-hmm. so it's like kind of hard so it's just really intense but uh, um, when you die, that's the interesting part. You don't you don't just die. You uh, you get go into this little area where you're like imagine an old prison type fights to where like you know there's a, a, you can see people kind of like in a little arena and fight, and then there's like a border around that you know like above like a balcony, and you you, you can punch your you can punch around other people. Okay. And then once it's your next turn. If you win the arena thing, it's like two pistols and people could go to each other. If you win, you can go and you can actually get resurrected. If you don't win, then you're uh, you're dead. You can just spectate. So it's pretty cool. You get like a one second chance type of thing, but it's it's hard. That sounds cool. It, I, yeah, I, I've never heard of a I of just, a reactive respawn like no, that, yeah, where yeah. you can actually do something about it. Which yeah. is cool. Do you know if you win? Do you? come back with guns or are you just like no you're, new, you're brand new now. no you're brand new again God, no yeah okay. you come back you yeah, when you come back you gotta you gotta run back and grab stuff mm. yeah i see okay yeah i need to play this i i have it downloaded it updated last night and yeah I need to sit down and play it but it does look fun yeah it's it called doesn't Duty. look like i'll stick with it like apex no it's no, just no. from past apex glance, I'm like, fortnite those feel a lot smoother really you don't think this feels um, smooth when I was playing it, I mean, it, it feels it, it's Call of Duty. I mean, it's just, it just feels like an, a, call, a Call of Duty. But I think for the Battle Royale, being able to pick stuff up, it's not as fast as you want it to. Because you actually have to, instead of just instantly hitting the button, you got to hold it. And like opening the doors, it just doesn't open automatically. Or you got to hit a but You can hit a button. You actually have to hold it. And it'll, you'll see the little circle where it's like, oh, okay, you hold it for like a second and then you're good. Mm-hmm. It's not instant. So it's not as quick as I want it to be. And so it's okay. a little annoying, but ammo, things like that, you could pick up instantly. But like when you, if you try to pick up uh, a gun or something, you actually got to hold the button, open the door, hold the button. I don't, I don't yeah, like that it. seems weird. It's I a little s- annoying because I, I want to be quicker. They'll have a setting that says tapped in or I hope. Hopefully. I didn't go through it. I forgot to look. Mm, yeah. So maybe there is one, but I, that's, that's a strange choice, but uh, yeah, know, that helps some people with, with, with yeah. holding because it's more precise. But yeah, yeah, that, that that's a, that's a strange one. I want to play it to give full impressions but it mm-hmm. does look cool um and it and yeah. i was talking with my girlfriend about this because i was showing her the trailer mm-hmm. uh and it's it's kind of the only really the second triple a battle royale we've gotten right because mm-hmm. we got uh apex which i would count triple a because it looks amazing mm-hmm. it feels great and there's yeah. a bunch of guns and stuff like that made by ea so it's it's polished well mm-hmm. fortnite triple a now was not triple a when it Mm-mm. was popular and things it yeah. was for sure you can tell you know 
pop, there was a lot of pop in and yeah. things like that. So it wasn't, um, I wouldn't say that was triple A, even though um, I made a stupid amount. I mean, PUBG, a lot of people played that, but I don't know. How I, don't, that I wouldn't say it's triple A. It's okay. jank as all hell. Uh, Black Ops 4 only had Battle Royale. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's and true. Online, so. That's true. I guess I guess I'm in my bubble here because that's true that it, that that would count. I would count Blackout. I was I was intentionally not in counting Battlefield Five because mm-hmm. it literally seems like no one has ever played the mode. And I, and I couldn't even tell you if it's out yet. I know it is, what? but I couldn't tell you if it is the Battlefield Five mode. Oh Fire no, I did. Storm. I played it. Firestorm. I know it's out, but it's one of those things where it's like. If you ask somebody, mm-hmm. it would give them pause. It'd be like, it's out. I played out. it twice. Yes, it's out. And it's weird because I played Battlefield, excuse me, ba- Battle Black Ops 4. Oh, and Fallout 76 has one too, which is... I haven't even tried that. I'm not going to. Um, Black Ops 4 Blackout versus Modern Warfare's Warzone. It's, I have to play more Warzone and more Black Ops, but I feel like I would give it to the Black Ops Blackout one. So f- like so far i just feel like it feels a little smoother curious on how they're gonna do this i don't know call of duty like as a whole Mm -hmm. because they like yearly releases making a lot of money yeah they now have two battle royales competing for each other Mm -hmm. and i'm saying competing very specifically because they're both shooters yeah both have not the same guns but pretty similar guns yeah um i the modes are a little different but not much if you're just talking brass tacks and like in warzone there's a lot of different things because there's different there's like buy stations Mm -hmm. and you can buy things you can buy that's a good point you people back and then you can buy loadouts i saw you buy kill streaks which is kill streaks as well uav and things like that yeah that was because that's why because you can find money around the world and stuff like that and get money to get to buy those things Mm -hmm. i like that part but it's just it makes it even more stressful (laughs) because i was just running and i don't know where i got like a helicopter was just called i'm like oh crap (laughs) what yeah how crazy are the kill streaks? Like you said, a helicopter is the well, helicopter it, coming to shoot you, or is that a person? Because I know you can drive um, helicopters. I think it's the helicopter that comes okay. to shoot you. Okay. It's that, and then there was predator drones, like you know the oh, the ones that I seen those I like the, the, the precision strike thing. Yeah, that uh, that oh. popped up too because I had to run in a building because I saw mm-hmm. the three circles on my map. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> get in there! Yep. And that almost killed me. So interesting. Yeah, uh, it sounds that sounds it sounds fun. It, okay. it sound, it's map, fun. Uncertain time. The map looked insane. It's As in like, am I gonna be fighting people? Because that was a part of PUBG mm-hmm. that I didn't like. There were some times where you wouldn't find anyone, and, and it's and at the end. You of have the no day, problem with the, this at all. You'll the, see someone every time. Okay, cool. Yeah, because there's probably so many people. Because that's probably why they put 150 people. In yes, the, the map is huge, but there's also like, as soon as I dropped, I didn't go maybe five minutes without finding someone. Okay. Yeah, like I was running around, grabbed the gun. Grab the gun. I seen somebody. I ran to him, and then I got shot in the back. I'm like, damn. <laughs> but like, I, you always see someone. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of camping though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. It's Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. There's a lot of a camping. Lot of it. That's literally. why I had to stop playing the online. Yeah. It just came when I died. It was a guy standing there, and I'm like, yeah. I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I like Apex, where like you run. Yeah. You're running. Like the point of it is to run after people. Oh like, yeah. That's for sure. fun. Yeah. That's fun. The whole like standing there and waiting. I just don't have the patience. Yeah. I just don't. I don't at all. Um, I played Division Two Warlords of New York. I finished oh, yeah. the expansion. How'd you like uh, that? Finally, it took I, me forever. I but just I started it. I just finished it. Yeah. Uh, so I hit level forty. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- and when you hit level forty, you can do the last mission in the Warlords of New York. I'm not gonna spoil it, even though it's not really spoilery, I guess. But um, yeah, it, it was fun. Yeah, it was good. Div- it was division, more division. Yeah, uh, it was fun rediscovering guns. Okay. Because I was using the same loadout in Division 2 for... Ever? Months. Because yeah. I stopped playing it, of course, but then picking it back up, like, I basically was using the same loadout the same minus, thing, yeah. like, a couple vests or something. Yeah. But I do enjoy the uh, the difference right now. Now, mm-hmm. certain things are... It, it's... it's I'm, I'm in the newcomer mode where I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. good? Yeah. I don't know what's good yet. I definitely don't feel like I'm doing enough damage, so I oh, got to figure sure. out builds yeah. and things like that. I yeah. got to look at like my abilities and attributes and figure out like, all right, how much yeah. power do I want in this thing? So mm-hmm. that's a whole other thing I probably won't get into for a while because I want to play... Um, uh, I want to finish up Kingdom Hearts, which I'm doing then. Kingdom Hearts go 2 back still. To that. I am on Nightmare Before Christmas first go through. So On Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. I finished Kingdom Hearts 1 on hard. I'm on Critical on 2. Mm. Uh, which Critical on 2? 
Yeah. Cakewalk. Yeah. Jesus. I've died maybe three times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, it's it's easy. Yeah. And you, uh, I forget, you get Mickey. Anyways, when you die. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, it's it's during boss battles. No, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you get hit, Mickey just comes and saves you anyways. So I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, yeah. I just come back up and I beat him. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Um, anything else? I'm I think I said, I want to play Ori. I, yeah. was, I was telling you about that yesterday. We still need to play Dark Siders. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot we all we, about Dark Siders. We, we need to play that so bad. Yeah, we have we a got, couple games we still need to try yeah, to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're falling behind. Doom comes out in two weeks. So we've got two weeks, really, in, yep. until everything comes out. And, of course, Animal Crossing, um, which my girlfriend is excited for. Yeah, very excited for. I'm wondering if my wife is going to play that or not. I think if she played a little, yeah, probably her. Sure. Yeah. Because she tried Luigi's Mansion, and she just thought it was boring yeah yeah i, yeah, I get it i yeah. get it it's slow super yeah. slow to start yeah and then once once it goes it's fun yeah but it took me i was i almost quit i was like oh my just god just keep going and just then push the, and then i hit it and i was like okay this is fun yeah it took a minute though jesus it's it's crazy because back then i used to be like that to where i can just push through games now i'm like if it bores me i'm done i get it that, like, hey that's what happens with time man yeah when you have when you have like a finite amount of time to enjoy something yeah like i don't you, give anything a mo- the yeah. show oa yeah. that you recommended yeah, yeah, yeah. me i didn't like the first two episodes bounced like, no bounced yeah. bounced and i, I understand know. yeah and i want to know i wanted to know the ending but yeah. i was like this sucks man i can't but i can't watch this yeah, yeah so i don't care time. yeah it's because see i had the time like god when the xbox one first came out I had time to play all, all the whole the way through. The entire launch lineup. Uh, of Crimson Dragon. <laughs> Don't know why I played it. If I go back to it now, I'm like, oh, this is bad. Mm-hmm. But, like... I don't know why. I just kept playing and mm-hmm. just kept playing. You're like, you're still playing with these hey, dragons, we didn't man. Have it. We didn't have any games. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if now, you went with original Xbox yeah. when it launched, now I have now I have you no didn't time. Have to play. Like I want to go play Dark Siders and I want to go play uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Yeah. Don't have time. Where's for the it. time? Where is it, Alex? We need to find it. Let's go into the news on the top. Like we were talking about Xbox and Ubisoft playing a digital event following E3. 2020s cancellation boom that's uh that's essentially all of the news i'm gonna read from phil's uh twitter real quick Mm -hmm. e3 has always been an important moment for team xbox given this decision this year we'll celebrate the next generation of gaming with the xbox community and all who love to play via an xbox digital event details on timing and more in coming weeks so there we go. Yeah, we, are, we already have their response to this. They already knew it was going to get canceled, so they mm-hmm. had this ready. We will get this d- digital event yep. whenever they see fit, I assume. I assume it will be the same time period, probably within a week or two of that mm. original E3 date, which was like from the 9th to the 14th or yeah. something like that. and I said, I mentioned in the, um, the E3 uh, episode we just did, um, Xbox is doing a stream next week. On the 18th, we're yes, getting more details about the, everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I assume that's another look yeah. on a Series X, mm-hmm. on just a little bit more. I don't think we'll get anything crazy. I think we're just getting like refreshes on everything. Mm-hmm. Maybe some UI. That would be exciting. That'd, like how things I'd be look. Excited. I've always been excited for those things, like the dashboard look. And What's the like new that? dashboard look like? Yeah. What's the achievements look like? Yep. Am I finally getting the snap feature back, Alex? You remember this? Dude, I missed the snap feature. I'm not going to lie to you. I finally have a platform to complain about this. Yeah. So when the snap feature was taken away, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know this, and if you didn't buy an original Xbox when it launched, there was a snap feature for about two years, I want to mm-hmm. say, where you could snap an app, sometimes a game. There was a specific game oh, you yeah. could do. It was called Three. You yeah. could snap it to the side of your screen. So about a third, maybe a fourth of your screen mm-hmm. is snapped to something else. Yeah. And you could juggle two things. Yeah. Now, it's gone. And they yeah. said, I, I know, a programmer or an engineer or someone said... They were working on a picture in picture over the snap feature mm-hmm. to, to replace the snap feature. Yeah. Where is it, Xbox? Oh, my you God. You lied to me. You uh, know you weren't going to do it, and you lied to me. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I miss the snap feature because I remember just being able to just snap my achievements real quick. And while I'm playing the game, I'm like, oh, okay, that's that one. Okay. It's that one. It's that one. Or I'll snap youtube yeah. for a guide yeah and, yeah because you mean of course you can't have full screen but it'll still play right there mm-hmm. yep it's god uh, why are you doing this to me god. bring it back yes. picture in picture would be so much better too cause yeah i would put it in the top right corner mm-hmm. and I'd, I'd have something playing while i'm playing division and i would yeah. meet, because you can control the volume between the oh, two yeah of them. for sure oh it was so nice yep 
So nice. H- hashtag bring snap back. Yep. And then tweet it at Xbox. We're starting this. We're going to end it too. All right. Bring snap back. Yep. But I really like don't bring it back. Bring picture in picture like you said you would. Mm. You sons of bitches. Also, <laughs> make achievements. Do you remember the achievement rework they talked about too? Maybe. So, l- long time ago now. Okay. The head of uh, whatever. I, I keep forgetting who's talking because there's always different people. But it, one of the heads of programming was talking about they want achievements to be different. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, they wanted a different system. They don't want to completely change everything. But they were like, why, why doesn't achievements show dedication to a game? And oh, it was like, for yeah. instance, for Halo, if if a, a guy who is in esports league mm-hmm. why don't we have something for them playing that like you've played 500 hours like a batch or something you've played 500 hours of halo so yeah. so like you know your hardcore so you get this badge like just some stuff like that rather than yeah, 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 just yeah. have these gamer score things because yeah because he, he wanted to point out like you don't have a lot of gamer score if you only play a few games so we want to kind of change yeah. that like yeah to show that you play a lot more stuff it's just the same thing the same thing so like yeah so like if they show for example since we uh, we play apex a lot yeah. we'll have like a bunch of badges for apex because they can see that we have you got that. you played a thousand games here mm-hmm. there's a badge for you or something there's something like that and you yeah. can pin it to your uh profile oh yeah things for like sure that. yeah. that's what you're talking about bring that back too where is everyone saying things about and then and then they ain't bringing it and then they'll talk about it again? I digress. I'm moving on to Ubisoft's Twitter. This is their um, reacts to the E3 cancellation. Uh, this is quoting them: uh, "Quote the health and well-being of teams, players, and partners is our top priority. So while we're disappointed, we fully support the ESA's decision to cancel E3 2020. Sorry. E3 is and will continue to be a moment and where we come together as a community and share our love of games." We are exploring other options for a digital experience that will allow us to share all of the exciting news we have planned. Stay tuned for more. All right? Yeah. Ubisoft's event. Yeah. He's saying the same thing, too. We'll get an event out there for you. Yep. Uh, we'll show you Just Dance. Nary you Just worry, Just Dance. Alex. It's going to be okay. What? They'll show you Just Dance. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Just it's Dance. Coming. To- okay. Was there a Just Dance I feel like there was already a 2021. No, it's 2019. They, they made a 2019 one, right? Them, yes. Okay. They made a There's so many of them, I just can't remember if they skipped oh, a year yeah. or not. Because I, I feel so. like they skipped a year one time. But I don't no, know. one came out last year. It was 2019. So okay. this one would be 2020. And I'm sure it still came out for the Wii. It did. Yeah. It very much did. Always. You guys think we're joking. We're not. It came no. out for the Wii. No, yeah. Nintendo Wii. Not the Wii U. No, no. It the came Wii. out for the Wii. Yeah. They still sell it. Yeah. And people still buy it. That's why they still put it on there. It's, it's insane. And I... People chase it. Still buy it. Yep. Chase they it. Still making it. I remember uh, a situation where I witnessed and or participated in a sale of the Wii Just Dance 2019 uh, because uh, someone uh, came into somewhere and asked me about it, and mm. I was like, "No." I looked it up. It better right yeah. there it was, and I and I either participated or then sold said game to that person wild stuff yeah i was like okay I, I that was before i was like super super in like i am now yeah so i didn't know it, it came out on the Wii, but it did yeah it was i think it was 2018 that happened to me um move me on alex this is one of those grab a bucket of salts but before we get into bucket of salts alex oh yeah before we get into that fake stuff do i gotta pour it over my shoulder too- sure yeah sure okay Sure. What's up with snails getting like murdered by salt? You know this? It, yeah, like, I mean, like, a, the, like a yeah, I know. I know it does. I know the science behind it, but it's yeah. like Jesus. That's like, not how you want to go out. Is yeah, salt. no, it's just like burning. Oh God, it's all acidy too. Yeah, right. Let's go over this. Regia, uh, Reggie, <laughs> Regia, Jesus Regia. Christ. Regia. Reggie Fizami Fizami. joins GameStop board of directors. I'm not reading from any specific thing Mm-mm. because it's. That's it's it. everywhere. That's all. Um, well, and that's all. It's not really much else to talk about. Yeah. It's Game Stop Date Board of Directors. So everyone was very excited. Yeah. Uh, uh, Reggie tw- himself said um, the games industry needs a strong GameStop. So he was very excited to join their yeah. board of directors. I was honestly, I was surprised. No, yeah, um, it's crazy. I think most people were too because, like, when I think Reggie fils me where he would go, mm-hmm. it was not. I was not expecting GameStop it. Board of Directors, Mm-mm. and I'm very curious. Not. On how this goes, do they bring in Reggie to be like, 
like when uh when you know how like there's a plan happening and like all right we're gonna do this and mm-hmm. does everyone just kind of look at reggie he's like is this okay <laughs> and go, reggie just goes yeah that's okay <laughs> yeah like well because he's always you know he was the head of it was a head of nintendo he right? was president of nintendo america okay so, so like the specific america yeah so i mean nintendo. he's so used to making everything family oriented and pretty much making an environment for that so maybe he's trying to do that with gamestop i guess hey maybe i mean i it, mean i've seen I, those tests i'm very curious I, and i doubt this is why i'm mm-hmm. very curious if he looked at gamestop and went i'm about to save this company or if gamestop just came to him with a very tantalizing offer and he just said sure yeah i'm curious on which one of those because i'm very excited if it's the first option and the second option we're probably it's still in the same boat as gamestop i wonder, I wonder if he'll take over as uh the president ceo because mm-hmm. well, who's, who's the main who's the main guy right now it's shane uh george sherman i think i thought there was some guy named shane kim or he like was that. oh he that was. was the interim meaning it's temporary and he dipped out. He was like, all right, guys, really? bye. We didn't sell it. Peace Deuces. out, fam. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have, uh, George, uh, uh, sorry, GameStop has George Shorman, uh, Sherman. Um, we, uh, we, I, I assume you meant we, like, as the gaming community. We, of course, yes. No one listening to this podcast have divulged on why I say that. No, uh, yeah, it's just the gaming community because I say we with everything. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine if they figure it out. Uh, but with, yeah, George, George, uh, George Sherman, he, um, uh, he runs it now, and then they're in the process of the, doing all the reboots and mm-hmm. things that, of that necess- of, Yeah, I got gotcha. It's one of those things where it's like you see the you see the designs of the stores. Yeah, I've seen cool those test stores up there in the, those like, upper states. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they the, look cool. They definitely look. cool. I just don't think that's gonna stick. How's that gonna make us money? You yeah, mean? because I mean, like, what is it that you're? Because I could see a bunch of like uh, like the from the test stores. There's a bunch of people playing D and D. And then there's a bunch That's of people awesome. playing uh, computer games and uh, like TVs and stuff like that. So what? Uh, I assume there'll be like a library to be like you could rent out for an like per hour the, these systems and you would and assume things. You would assume. That's what I assume because I I've remember seen the test. Like that. I remember this test store showing off their little snack side. The, mm, and I was like, God. That, that's ho- that's a <laughs> that's a horrible idea. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, in a few ideas, it's horrible. One, it's like. Okay, we're they're selling snacks now, and on the second idea, it's like that's messy. <laughs> First off, all I can see is there's so many computers. I could see just one of those cans tipping over keyboards. Bam, done. They're not gonna pay for it. Gross. Gross. Yeah. Very curious on where this ends with them, uh, yeah. uh, specifically. Cause... My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But... Uh, phone yelled at me and i was like what is going on yeah uh i'm very curious on where this leads them and where they go with this yeah. especially with reggie reggie uh why do i keep saying that i Jeez. don't know you keep messing with there. reggie you, i wonder where he goes like with this and i wonder if if he has a plan and if he uh even i mean he could not care but he wouldn't take the position i guess if he didn't care so i'm very curious if if we see imprints of him throughout yeah. the throughout the stores yeah let's go to our salt section alex this yeah. is where you grab some salt and you hold on to it because most if not all of this is probably fake but most of this have pretty good substantia mm. i'll hold that grain of salt man alex warner brothers reportedly featuring new batman game dc comics uh dc games universe and harry potter at e3 boom do 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 wow e3 is not happening anymore so maybe they do this somewhere mm-hmm. else but mm-hmm. this is a rumor we are, of course, not speaking on if they will be at E3 anymore. This is just them talking about these three games. So, we're skipping the part. Uh, yeah, so this is Montreal's a new Batman game, Avalanche Software's rumored Harry Potter game, which we kind of know is real because we saw... We saw some gameplay a long time ago. Yeah, of a dude on his phone recording it off of uh, somewhere. I'm very curious on how he got that. Yeah. And what, I, I think the... Was the thing that there was a cleaning lady or, or a cleaning man, a janitor of some sort, was cleaning and, and saw like the file or something? I don't remember. I don't know. I, know I don't the, remember. But wasn't the gameplay is like it was like it was like the Battle of Hogwarts or whatever, and it's like it shows like Harry doing a bunch of stuff. No, it was no? just a random guy. It was called um. There was it, a game. Was, there was a Harry Potter game that I saw a gameplay for though that. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Harry. Harry wasn't in it. It was meant to be before. 
Like people extrapolated oh, if they okay, would okay. assume if if this was what they think of it was before Harriet. Okay. Something like that. But I, I don't think uh, I don't. Uh, there was no Harry Potter footage. There was. I remember there was a. Uh, what are they? Goblins? Are they goblins in Harry Potter? Yes. The big ears. Yeah. Yeah. The go- yeah. I remember seeing a goblin. Um, but I, I'm assuming this is real. And an announcement of the new DC Games universe and more. So assuming that they're making a whole games universe and that will intertwine each other. Uh, the rumor mm. comes way of a few sources, including the GWW's James Sickfield. At the moment of uh, this publishing of the article, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment hasn't announced any plans for the E3 2020. Most likely because they knew it was going to get canceled. And as you may know, they don't ever host one. In other words, the news comes a bit out of the field and is a very inspiring consider its rumored lineup of games. So, so far, all these games are essentially confirmed. We know most of them are happening. All this really is saying is we know that it's happening. I mm. wanted to bring it up because now we know it's not happening at E3. Alex, how do they show these off then? The only, of course, question is the DC Games Universe thing. That could, mm. That's whatever. I, I'm yeah. very confident of the new Batman game because they've confirmed it and the Harry Potter game is essentially confirmed with the leaked footage. I, I believe that was real. Mm-hmm. Where do they leave where do they leave this? Do they do they do an own event? Do they wait until Who's their publisher? Uh Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Shadow of Mordor, these people They'll ask one of the other people to show it off, for example, yep. like if Xbox or something, they'll be like, Hey, show this off of your stream or your thing that you're having, the digital thing. I can respect that. Yeah. yeah I can see that. I can see them going to like, Xbox it's not or like PlayStation. They have, it's not like I don't feel like Warner Brothers will make their own thing. No, I don't think they want. That's a, that's, a like that's a lot of money. Too, yeah, I was gonna say I don't feel like they're that big enough to be able to. Do I mean, like, they, for example, they like could Ubisoft have, or something. They could afford it. I don't think they care enough mm-hmm. to do that. No. They can. They, they're just they're like, hey, we'll pay you to mm-hmm. for, for yeah. you guys to show it. Yeah, show our stuff for us. It's much easier that way. Yeah, and just do that for us. But yeah, so I agree with all that. I agree. Um, I'm hoping. Now it just goes to Xbox's conference, so yeah. we have like a very, very exciting Xbox conference. They will not show all of that there, though. That's too much. They would be one of those things. It won't be all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so either it's the Harry Potter game or the Batman game, not both. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing either gets showed off at PlayStation or somewhere else. Yeah. No. Mm. Keep some go- keep some salt. Yeah. And some more salt. Okay. Not a franchise I particularly care for. I know okay. you like it though. Mm. New Tony Hawk Pro Skater game leak appears. This is by Matt Kim, I believe on Kotaku. Mm. Uh, rumors for a new Tony Hawk Pro Skater has resurfaced thanks to another leak, this time from a band that claims to have licensed song for a new game in the series. In a now-deleted Facebook post, a band called The Death Set seemingly revealed that they licensed five new songs for the Tony Hawk 2020 game, uh, end quote. They also said that, quote, you'll be hearing this shit soon, end quote. <laughs> there are other rumors as well internally. There are rumors of a Pro Skater 1 and 2 remastered. That I would care for. These new games, they they lost they lost me. They lost you. At I the don't care for Tony Pro Hawk Skater Pro Skater. Five. I don't care for Tony Hawk Pro Skater anymore. Mm-hmm. The last Tony Hawk game that I played was either Proving Grounds or Project Eight on the 360. Mine that was, was the last. One, Grounds. That was uh, yeah. It was the last one that I played, and I didn't care for the the Pro Skater Four, Pro mm-hmm. Skater Five. Did not care for any of mm-hmm. them. Did not like them. Mm-hmm. One of the weird things about the rumors is it's a new Tony Hawk game, and apparently Tony Hawk split with them after Pro Skater 5. Yeah. So that is the only questionable thing about all these rumors. Now, Just give me skate. Now, with with the, quote, separation, mm-hmm. that could not mean anything. That could just mean Tony Hawk's like, nah, I'm done with this. Yeah. Or they could have renegotiated him, and, and they, all that could have worked out. Just I don't know. give me skate 4. EA, why do you hate us? I'm just curious. I, I mean, just want to talk. I mean, I I'm getting, talk. I, I mean, I guess I I'm talk. getting session for now, but I have no idea when that's going to be. Anyway, session is now gone into the indie wind, where most games uh, from indie developers go, where they show off their game and they yep. say, "All right, see you in three years." And it's crazy because we were supposed to see it this year. Mm. Mm. I'm yeah. excited to see it. Questionably at Xbox's conference thing, maybe. I don't know, but if we see it, because it was revealed in 2018, it was supposed to be for an October 2019 release, (laughs) but unfortunately delayed. However, did not it? Oh, it said it did not miss its PC release date, which uh, creature regularly supporting the game with updates. So the game is out on PC. It's out on PC. Why do they not? A simple tweet. Did they tweet? Like I've never. I did not hear this. That sucks. Um. How much is this game? 
It's not like I'd play it. I'm checking. Google, because apparently there was a... Let's see. I need to tweet at them. Because it says Session Xbox One Towers. Tito's coming next week, and that was in February, for the end of February. So I'm wondering... And I have to figure this out. Uh, uh, skateboarding sim session comes out to Xbox this spring, so we'll get okay, it. We'll spring. get it. Some, we'll get it sometime in the next. I don't want to rush you guys, but spring ends in like May, <laughs> so you have like two months spring left. Spring 2020 to announce yeah. and release this game. Uh, let's see. Session was due to come. Wait, what? Maybe we see that again. I don't know. I feel like I don't believe them. Uh, in an effort to double up on the Xbox console support, we have teamed up with an experienced studio named Ilo Alogica, who will Illogical. focus the entire team supporting session to Xbox. Uh, twenty twenty. Jesus, yep. how did they code this thing? <laughs> session was due to come to the Xbox preview program last October, but suffered delays, pushed back to November, early December. Fortunately, the game never arrived, so now they're coming in spring. But the game, uh. It's in it's in early access on Steam, so it it's been on Steam. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't even know. All right. Now I gotta see if it's even good. See, but early access, I don't like messing with that stuff because like I'll just wait for the full game, especially with indie games where I know I won't play that much. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna play much of it. I might get all of my due in early access and never play it again. So I, I like know. just leave I it just stuff want like that. Skate. Yeah, me too. But we won't get it. They hate us. Like I keep going back to Skate Three and Skate One because Two was. Eh. We know they have remasters in the works, so maybe they have a remaster for the Skate franchise. Because we know they we'll have see. a few remasters coming in the next year. Hopefully it's Skate. Hopefully it's Mass Effect. Uh, I'd rather just Mass Effect because, I mean, Skate, the original Skate, honestly, still holds itself up. I don't know if I need a remaster for that because it mm-hmm. still plays well, so mm-hmm. what's the point of a remaster? Well, I, I think remastered in a loose term because they, like, they just resell it on like Xbox loose One. reboot type of thing? No, more of just like a resell of the three games in oh, one package. So gotcha. it's just the okay. skate. It's just give called me, Skate give me, with all give three Give me some new achievements with it. There you go, yeah. Because yeah. I, I mm-hmm. literally got all the achievements for Skate 1. I'll do it. I'll, hey, do, it I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Yep. Do a 360 I, I, no I, flip go. I know how quadruple. to do that trick now on Skate 1, so I can mm-hmm. I can beat him. Mm-hmm. The 360 no flip, skip, drip, yeah. ultra meter. It's a 360 five. hard flip, <laughs> and I do it in Nolly 1. Nolly mm-hmm. 360 hard flip, yeah. so I know how to do it now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Alex. Yeah. Ori and the Will of the Wisps came out, mm-hmm. and we have some reviews for you. Oh, yeah? So I'm going to go through... Some of the top ones. Some of the top ones. This is over on PC Gamer. Yep. Gave it an 81 by Tyler Wilde. This is a quote from him. Quote, I uh, I prefer Ori and the Blind Forest for its compactness and simplicity, but Ori and the Will of the Wisps is also worth playing to the end. It trips over its complexity at times and really doesn't need so much combat, but it's gorgeous, funny, and triple jumping could go on forever without getting old. Damn, triple jumping? Yeah, triple jump. You yeah. thought double jumping was impressive. Yeah. How about triple? <laughs> Damn. Nary a quadruple jump. I can just hear it now. You jump, you're in midair, and then you dud the number, uh, like just another one. IGN, 9 out of 10, Brandon Tyrell. And, uh, quote, and that's really the best praise you can give a sequel. It stays true to the spirit of the original, double down on what it made it great, and gives you more stake in the world and options to navigate it. Or in the Will of the Wisps is an excellent, heartfelt follow up that pushes the series to new heights. Hmm. This is Oran Destructoid, 9.5 out of 10. Chris Carter, quote, with the need to go bigger, or in the Will of the Wisps loses some of the simplicity and the innocence of the original game, but it steps up in turn with bite and the refinement. It's perfect companion to the Ori in the Blind Forest and its early defining moment of a decade to come. Games Radar gives it 4.5 out of 5 by Austin Wood. Quote, there are a few minor stumbles here and there, but naming to say I adore Ori in the Will of the Wisps. It's one of the best platformers ever made. Jesus. And it's an easy front runner for game of the year. If you like the first game, you will love this one. And if you haven't experienced Ori's story, you owe it to yourself to dive in now, especially with both games on Xbox Game Pass. I'll be replaying this game, listening to its soundtrack, and reminiscing over its characters for years to come. And for one more, Game Informer 9.5, Andrew Rayner. The story is fantastic. Word is breathtaking and all pales in comparison to the wonderful ma- uh, made gameplay that source, both as platforming and combat game. Moon Studios has outdone itself with Will of the Wisp, delivering an experience that doesn't have any lulls, makes the player feel clever, and just keeps getting better as it goes. Interesting. I am excited. Yeah, I definitely want to try it. I literally, when I was playing last night, it popped up. And it was like, oh, it's like, oh, Ori is ready to start. I'm like, me too. Mm. Me too. Uh, you hit that button, you're like, do it, 
do I do it? Do I do it? And I'm like, nah, just Not wait. Yet. I'll wait. Not I want to be awake because I was like kind of tired. So yeah, I was like, me I'll too. Wait. Me too. I might. Let's see. I, uh, I'll, I might play it tomorrow because I have some openings tomorrow. So I might play it tomorrow. The mm. first one, though. I want to try the first one again. Mm. See if I can get through that. Okay. Once I beat that one, boom, second one. Okay. Have a good like week with it. Yeah. Because I got my anniversary coming up. I'll have three days free then, too. Mm. I might do that then as well. But I'm very excited. I, I did not play much of the first one. Uh, but it is gorgeous, like they said. Yeah, no, yeah, it, it, sure. The yeah, lights great. and the, the, the colors look awesome. So I want to go back to it. I just seen something. It was hilarious. <laughs> Bethesda on says on Fallout 76, just because it didn't go well doesn't mean it was wrong to try something different. <laughs> <laughs> so they know it's bad. But they're like, we'll try something new. Hey, guys. They were revolutionary, all right? And their that's, ways of what? That, that's funny. I'm very curious. I assume they mean try something different with Fallout. Yeah, Not, yeah. not like, mechanically. That's what I, that's what I assume. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, that, this is pretty funny. Remember when they said they'd add NPCs? Did they ever do that? I think it's still in delay or something. I thought they did that. Jesus I, Christ. I think they were going to. I don't know if they ever did whatever neo 2 review roundup that also came out i forgot for the heck ne- came out yeah all you neo fans GameSpot 9 out of 10 neo is an immensely layered experience though uh through its dark souls inspired combat you're taught the virtues of patience and the value of defense with each death you learn a bit more about yourself and your enemy this team ninja production uh, set during a time of great social upheaval in japan demonstrates the studio's penchant for demanding action-driven gameplay that rewards tactics and high dexterity Despite all the inevitable dying, Neo is surprisingly rich with solutions to overcome its many hurdles. This is Miguel Concepcion. Game Informer 9 out of 10. Neo will break you down and note this clearly. This is an uncompressing game that does not mind crushing your dreams before it lifts you up. You will soon crave the thrill of mastering a new weapon and toppling a titanic boss. Endless optimization and customization, engaging encounters in unparalleled combat by yourself or with a friend make Neo an excellent choice for your next dark action RPG. That's Daniel Tack. IGN. Neo could well take over 100 hours if you set out to master its many side missions on top of its tough campaign and it's a challenge well worth taking the way it builds on its most obvious inspirations with a highly refined combat system and an unexpectedly charming yet gritty style all in its own allows it to boldly carve out its own identity standing on a shining example of what action rpgs can be that's chloe red and then destructoid leads us off with with this emphasis on challenging combat and light storytelling elements that are all times boarding on parody in a good way Neo feels like a true successor to an Ninja Gaiden series and feels a nice void that Souls left behind. Did Teen Ninja ever leave? Whatever the case might be, it's back. Hmm. And that's Chris Carter. Hmm. Egg Siding. Two fantastic games releasing. Yep. I got one more. Ex- oh. Some people would say oh. exciting. Okay. I don't know if you'd be upset because you said you're not, you don't know if you'd want this. Okay. But uh, Last of Us Director confirms HBO series. The story will follow the game. The first mm. game. Hmm. It That's says, disappointing. So it says uh, this is the most fantastic. Uh, says that it will, uh, um, the story of the show will closely follow the key moments of the game. Boo! He said, that including that the uh, Druckmann felt necessary to keep obscured, so they didn't really say what key points, but it's gonna follow that the first game, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping after to lead into the second one. Boo. Because they said they're not gonna take the show. Or they're not gonna start production until the game releases. Boo. So I assume they wanna they're gonna want to keep it going. So I'm assuming let's say first season, follow the first game, or and then towards the fir- end of the season it's gonna follow up to the second game. So then season two could be towards the second game leading to more. So I uh, uh, give me something new. I yeah, know what I happens knew, in the first game. I, yeah. I know what's gonna happen in the second game yep. by by the time I watch this show. Yep. That's yeah, because they said upsetting. some uh, Druckmann included Ellie, Tess, Riley, and other others from Last of Us are key figures from the narrative of the original game. Because isn't Tess, Tess in, is the, in the first game and she died? She dies in the first hour. Yeah. So we're gonna see part of that. Yay! We get to watch her eaten alive. Maybe we'll see. I think what they're going to do, you know the time gap between Joel's kid dying between to yeah. where we get in the, the 20 years? Mm-hmm. I, th- I think we'll get something from there, too. Really? 
Mm-hmm. It's possible. So we'll see things that happened with Joel in between that part before he met Ellie, and then vice versa with Ellie before he met Joel. And like for example, the DLC was left behind. Maybe they'll show something, and then they'll go into them meeting in the show, like more details that what we didn't see in the game or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, there are cool ways they could do this. They could yeah. incorporate Left Behind. They could incorporate yeah. the early, like with the daughter. They can incorporate yeah. the um, the actual the, like things that happened because they didn't really ex- uh, well. They explain they they explain what happened, but not actually like I'm you know, okay. So you know, the time like we're, like for example, like in Walking Dead, when everything started happening, they try to figure out how it, like they didn't really. Did did they? Re- I can't remember. Did they explain where the no. first incident was? Uh, no, not really. Like what happened? Maybe they can do that with this. Mm. So maybe I was like, oh, this was the first one that had this virus, and he's the one who, or he or she, the one who infected everybody, and then that happened. For example, like at the CDC or something, and everything started going outbreak, and then it leads to those characters. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I I, I think cool. it's gonna go the way of uh, incorporating everything more linearly, yeah. and then with a few fl- flashbacks. Yeah. Um, like the opposite of Witcher, for instance. Like no, instead yeah, yeah. of like being all over the place, it's gonna be a couple episodes straight lined, and then a few flashbacks explaining co- mm-hmm. character significance, yeah, and things like that. I'm curious on how far off this is gonna go, how canon this will be, things like that. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this is just a whole. I, I, since it's going the same thing, mm-hmm. I assume this is just like another universe now. Mm-hmm. Of who were different things. who were our um? What was our uh, our fan? Uh, uh, fan cast. It was Ellen Page as Ellie. Yeah. And who was Joel? Was it Hugh Jackman or uh, was there was someone else as Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman. I mean, been I'm there. sorry. Who was? I'm sorry. As Joel. Who was that we were wanting to play as Joel? Uh, oh, there was somebody that was. There like, was someone. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot who it was. I feel like it was Hugh Jackman. I just feel like there Hugh was some, Jackman would be a good. I feel one like there. Logan, was, yeah, I feel like there was a different person. There was, and I, I'm blanking on his name. Um, right now. I've seen pictures of him too. What's the dude? That does ah, oh, he's in my head too. He does what? Um, I feel like he's one of the voice actors in a game. Yeah, he's something. Oh my god, I, I can't remember. think about it. Just do fan cast last yeah. us, and it'll come up because because yep. it, it's it's the popular guy. It's no one we like. No, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. I'm dying on her. <laughs> Some people are showing Gerard Butler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's put Gerard Butler in something. He hasn't done enough. By the way, was that was that it for the news? Alex, that's it for the news. Yeah. Why? You got something for me? No, I was just wondering. You just wanted a quick inquiry on where I was in the show, Alex? Yeah. Alex. Because I keep, I keep <laughs> just popping <laughs> stuff up. <laughs> Alex, hmm. while you're here, oh, yeah? what are you going to play? <laughs> More Apex. And for I, sure. I do want to try... Um... Damn, what the hell did we just say? Oh, uh, the, the other games. Neo or Ori? Ori. So Ori, yeah, me too. I'm going to try Ori for sure. I'm going to play more Apex because Apex is life right now. Mm-hmm. Until, like, Doom comes out. Oh, uh, uh, we we saw that Doom Eternal thing. Yes. Um. So we figured out today you can customize your, your guy, your Doom guy. Yes. Which was super cool looking. Hold on, let me open it back up Um. right here. Yeah, personalize your Doom Slayer. It's a trailer. It's only, like, 40 seconds if you guys want to look it up. Uh, conquer hills armies and style unlock various skins animations and podiums by playing doom eternal personalize your doom slayer for photo mode and the single player campaign then slay with your friends in battle mode where you can personalize your doom slayer and playable demons for a limited time get the exclusive doomicorn slayer master collection included with the twitch prime simply link your twitch account to your bethesda.net account and claim this collection of skins player animations and upgradable podium Raise hail and doom eternal on 3 2020 so march 20th it's very soon yep very soon it's time of publishing it'll be like a week and you should be able to buy the game and for pre order you still get doom 64 which is a full game which is kind of cool very exciting very exciting that is all for this episode of your easy achievers gaming podcast thank you so much for listening if you want to help even more than you already have you can give us all the likes all the comments uh reach out us on twitter at evm has an at creepy associator you can scream at us there uh go over to uh patreon.com and give us the buck that helps us out so much keeps the lights on the mics on and alex's dogs fed so many of them yes thank you guys for listening Go achieve. Go achieve.